whoa, I just chirped tires. So now I'm going to go on a quick road drive around the neighborhood. There's just enough light left that I can do this. Um, the car doesn't have headlights, turn signals, or brakes working, so I'm going to do it in daylight. So I'm in fourth gear, which is my highest gear, least torque. Taking off is quite smooth. It's not jerky at all. And the motor's quite noisy. I don't know if that's normal for a brush motor to be this loud. It seems quite loud. I'm going to turn right here. There's a dip. Lost my camera. I need a better mount. We'll continue. I'll turn right again. No turn signal. Don't tell my mom. fell out again, we should be secured now. I'm gonna go a little faster. I see here on my display that I'm pulling like 40 amps right now, four kilowatts. I also have no speedometer, I have no idea how fast I'm going. Dip, nothing clunking. All right, I'm gonna go a little, accelerate a little harder. It's a pretty slow acceleration in fourth. I'm probably going 30 right now. You can see the beautiful Utah mountains up ahead. This is the start of a hill up here. I just want to see how it does on a hill. Display says I'm pulling 13 kilowatts. 20 here and there. Oh wow, one of my modules is heavily sagging in voltage. Check that out later. Turn. That was a clunk. Going back down the hill. Um, since this is a Series 1 on DC motor, I, I don't have regen, so I just have to purely use my brakes. Brakes actually aren't great. I gotta like pump them, they feel a little spongy. Might be a fluid problem or that the rears aren't really working too well, which might be the case because I know the parking brake I have to rip all the way, so maybe if I adjust that cable, it'll work better. But yeah, I'm consuming no power, zero kilowatts on this downhill. If I had regen, I'd be gaining battery. I'd be gaining charge. And we'll head back home now. Just a short test drive. I don't have turn signals, so I gotta be extra cautious. Back to the dip. Another clunk in the rear. I hope that's not the battery. Maybe it's just suspension clunk. All right, now I want to investigate this sagging module. Okay, so I came to a stop and park. You can see all my power draws um, with no scale, so I don't really know what that means. But here you can see my cell level voltages, which are all pretty flat except this module 2. 
as I was driving up the hill, modules 1 and 3 through 6 dropped a little in voltage, which is expected under load. But this module 2, some of the cells dropped way down to here. Um, and this module 2, this does not surprise me. This is the one from my earlier videos that had the arc mark on the terminal. And this is also the one that had the lowest capacity. I'll see if I can demonstrate uh, how it's sagging here just from a little starting from a stop. See how much that's sagging compared to the others? So that's a problem. With that sagging that much, I'm going to hit my low voltage cutoff way before any of my other batteries are depleted, which will really limit my range. So I'm gonna, I need to replace this module. And then when I started, I was at about like 98.5%, down to 96.5%, I went about a mile. This is just really rough of range estimate. That means I know I at least have at least 50 mile range. I was hoping for 150, um, but once I get a better module two in there, I'll go and do a real range test and drive around town and see how my percentage, see how my range is. I also need to calibrate this percentage to, based on my estimated capacity and all the testing I did, I need to calibrate this to the current state of charge, which is a little under, it's a little above 50% right now with 3.733 being average. So my high cell, 3.79, low 3.646. That's like 150. I think I'd, I'd really like to be at 30 millivolts or less delta. With this module out, I think I'm right there. Alright, so now I'm in first. I'm going to gently I can gently take off. Oh, it's much more torque. There's a bit of a delay, about a one second delay. Now I'm in reverse. The reverse should have the most torque. Whoa, I just chirps tires. Okay, let's get some better modules. <laughs> Then with better modules in, I can really start to play with first, second, third, reverse and really start ripping around and spinning tires and have fun with this. So I know you guys will be excited to see that video. That'll come soon. I can also see that my battery warmed up from a max temp of 7C to 9C. Uh, that's expected. I don't think I'll have any issues with them getting too hot in the winter. But in the summer, when it's there's a 45C max these batteries can handle when it's 35C outside. I might be able to hit 45C and hit over temperature and the car will shut down. We'll get there when we get there. I'm going to have to design a cooling system. So next steps are get a better module 2 in there, which thankfully I put in the top underneath the hood because I kind of expected this would happen so it'll be easy to get to. Um, figure out all this wiring, get my headlights turn signals working, and get the brakes working a little better, uh, investigate that. And I also need to set my charge temperature and cutoff parameters, and I need to calibrate this state of charge percentage correctly. So this is a huge milestone. I'm really excited to be able to drive this car around. It's already super fun. Now I can drive it around and do continuous improvement updates. This is my shifter. Right now I'm in fourth. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, reverse is like up in here. I actually have to like pick it up. See there's some play in there. That's another update is I need to get a real knob on here so it's easier to shift. Alright, final update. I was going to park the car and I was having trouble getting out of reverse. And then I was able to put it in neutral. I shut the car off. Then I shut the car on and the motor started spinning right away. So the throttle stuck, and I came here and just jiggled this cable, and I saw it return back all the way. So that's something I need to fix. That's not good. I don't want the throttle getting stuck. It's not safe, so I need to look into this. Um, maybe even a better alternative is instead of this mechanical throttle, I 
maybe I just put in a Prius throttle or a Nissan Leaf throttle or something and keep it a lot simpler and not having a cable that could get stuck.